Welcome to the fascinating world of emotions, connections, and the intricate dance of love. Relationships can be complex, and the dynamics between individuals can be as mysterious as they are enchanting. In this exploration of love psychology, we delve into the nuances of human connections, unraveling the secrets behind the advice to never smile when you look at the person you love because love, with its kaleidoscope of emotions, has been a subject of intrigue for centuries. From poets and philosophers to scientists and psychologists, the quest to understand the essence of love has been relentless. Love psychology, a branch that delves into the psychological intricacies of love, sheds light on the subtle cues and behaviors that shape our romantic experiences. Never smile when you look at person you love because a seemingly paradoxical statement that piques curiosity. Is it a suggestion to maintain a poker face in the presence of a beloved, or does it hint at a deeper psychological phenomenon? Let's embark on a journey to decipher the meaning behind this intriguing advice. The human smile is a powerful tool of communication, capable of conveying a myriad of emotions, from joy and warmth to affection and understanding. However, love psychology suggests that when it comes to expressing love, a smile may not always be the most effective means of communication. The reasoning behind this advice lies in the complexity of human relationships and the interplay of emotions that define them. Picture this, you're sitting across from someone you adore, and your heart swells with affection. Naturally, you may find yourself grinning from ear to ear, eager to express the joy their presence brings you. However, love psychology argues that an overt display of happiness, especially through a broad smile, might inadvertently convey a sense of vulnerability. In the realm of romantic relationships, vulnerability can be a double-edged sword. While it is the cornerstone of intimacy and emotional connection, it can also make individuals feel exposed and, in some cases, uncomfortable. A smile, perceived as a sign of vulnerability, might trigger an instinctive response in the other person, prompting them to retreat or feel overwhelmed. Love psychology, therefore, Advocates for subtlety in expressing affection. Instead of an overt smile, it suggests employing more nuanced cues such as maintaining eye contact, a gentle touch, or even a slight, knowing glance. These understated gestures can create an air of mystery and anticipation allowing the connection between two individuals to deepen without overwhelming either party. Furthermore, the advice to never smile when you look at person you love because underscores the importance of balance in relationships. While expressing love is crucial, maintaining an equilibrium between vulnerability and self-assurance is equally vital. A constant, beaming smile might inadvertently communicate dependency or an overeager desire for approval, potentially undermining the foundation of a healthy relationship. Love psychology also delves into the realm of nonverbal communication, emphasizing the significance of body language in expressing emotions. A smile, while a universally positive gesture, may not always align with the desired emotional tone in a romantic interaction. The absence of a smile can create an air of intrigue, 
prompting the other person to lean in and decipher the unspoken language of emotions. In addition to facial expressions, love psychology explores the role of verbal communication in the expression of love. Words, when chosen thoughtfully and delivered with sincerity, have the power to strengthen the emotional bonds between individuals. However, the advice to moderate smiling suggests that actions often speak louder than words in the realm of romantic relationships. Consider a scenario where a person looks deeply into the eyes of their beloved without breaking into a smile. This nonverbal communication, laden with unspoken emotions, can be more potent than a string of eloquent words. Love psychology posits that the absence of a smile can heighten the impact of other nonverbal cues, fostering a connection that transcends the limitations of verbal expression. Furthermore, love psychology challenges the conventional notion that a smile is the default expression of love. By encouraging individuals to explore alternative ways of conveying affection, it opens the door to a richer, more nuanced understanding of romantic connections. A fleeting touch, a shared gaze, or a subtle gesture can communicate volumes without uttering a single word. As we navigate the intricate landscape of love psychology, it becomes evident that the advice to never smile when you look at the person you love because is not a mandate to suppress joy or stifle emotions. Instead, it beckons individuals to broaden their emotional repertoire and embrace the complexity of love in all its forms. The essence of love psychology lies in the acknowledgement that every relationship is unique and there is no one-size-fits-all approach to expressing love. What works for one couple may not resonate with another, and the intricacies of human emotions are too vast to be confined to a set of rigid rules. Love, after all, is a dynamic force that evolves and adapts, weaving its way through the tapestry of our lives. In conclusion, the journey through love psychology takes us beyond the conventional wisdom of smiling as the default expression of love. The advice to never smile when you look at person you love because challenges us to explore the myriad ways in which we can express affection, fostering a deeper and more authentic connection with our romantic partners. As we navigate the enchanting realms of emotions, nonverbal cues, and the intricacies of human connection, let us embrace the wisdom of love psychology. Whether through a shared smile, a knowing glance, or a tender touch, the language of love is as diverse as the individuals who experience it. So, the next time you find yourself in the presence of someone you love, remember, the beauty of connection lies not in adhering to predefined norms, but in authentically expressing the unique language of your heart.